Good afternoon, everybody. It's Thursday, the 7th of May. This is the 4 p.m. Um, movement snack and our little preamble before we get started. My name is Dave. Uh, welcome along. Um, I know Beck's been telling you that you're going to have some new faces coming along in the next few days. Uh, I'm the first of those for you today here. OK, so welcome on board, everybody. Hello, Bex, joining us there. Um, let me know what's happening as far as you're concerned. Now, I'm sat upstairs on the uh, on the landing downstairs my son is working from home who, who lives with us um and uh we have uh, my wife downstairs who's cooking away as well so it's a bit of baking going on downstairs so let me know how things are uh, with you um and let me know what's happening your way Coventry is where i'm based a uh, lovely and sunny day today i've been really busy in the garden doing lots of uh, cutting back of bushes and stuff and uh, I know we've got somebody online um, I can't quite remember the name um, as it Brian I think who's been doing a lot of hedge cutting uh, lately so um, that's really good to uh, to see so uh, thank you very much for joining us as I say this is your 30 uh, at your 10 minute snack at 4 p.m. and we're going to do uh, some sway and some stretch motions today as well. Now, if this is not the snack you're looking for, then um, you're more than welcome to stay with us. But if you're playing catch up, then you might want to um, go back through the playlist or scan through the, uh, the Facebook page so you can find the one that you are and then eventually make your way back to us here but if you're staying with us stay with us uh, it's been uh, it'll be lovely to, to see you let me know what you've been up to let me know what's happening in your world I know you've been really busy over the last few weeks with Beck who's been uh, Bex who's been keeping you really busy with your 10 minutes three times a day um, <laughs> loving the Mickey Mouse in the background this is a Mickey Mouse phone actually uh, dawn rather than a, rather than a clock um, keeps the grandchildren entertained when they're here I can tell you, uh, drives us mad a little bit as well, though. Drives us mad. Right. Oh, it's uh, not very good in Scotland. Is that right? Yeah, not very good in Scotland by the looks of it. Um, so let me have your comments. Let me have your feedback, what you're up to, uh, what you've been doing. Um, I say my name's Dave and I'll be joining you uh, throughout the, the periods going forward as well to um, to keep you going and keep you active. Right? Um, Busy. Trevor, hi Trevor, how are you? Uh, Sunny, um, I'm going I'm to give this a go. Clanbreen Mare, is that right? I'm not too sure. Um, hi Dyros um, from Somerset, how are you? Good. Sunny in Havant as well. Um, dark and dingy is uh, is what it means. And uh, Drach, is that is that how I say it, Dawn? I'm not sure. Hi Debbie, thank you for joining us. Um, come on board everybody, sunny in Wales, lovely. I should be talking to my son-in-law later on, we're having a, uh, a bit of a um, Zoom family quiz later on, so I'm talking to my, my son-in-law in, uh, from Wales. Hi Christine, welcome on board. Hi Jenny, how are you? Welcome on board, also from Wales. Got people coming on board all around us, uh, which is good. Um, just this little chat before we get started and then we'll get going into to what we're going to do. Hi Wendy. Uh, Shrewsbury is where you are. Um, wall to wall sunshine, apparently. Excellent. We had a little bit of cloud earlier on, cheered up this afternoon. Been quite sunny uh, up until uh, now. And a lovely blue sky. Apparently, we're going to have a really good moon tonight as well. One of the last times we're going to be able to see uh, a full moon in 2020. So let's make the most of that. Hi, Sheena. Sheila, you okay? Um, Dreech. Is that how I say it? Right, okay. Bex is watching chopping. Oh, oh blimey, be careful. Keep your, <laughs> keep your fingers uh, out of the way. Hi, George. Uh, hi, Muana. Murana, is that right? Mujana. Um, who's joining us from Bremen in, in Germany. Guten Tag. Um, how are you? Um, sunny afternoon gardening in Cruden Bay, North East Scotland. Um, need lots of stretches. Well, we'll sort that for you, George, for sure. Um, OK, um, so since lunchtime, hopefully you've been crowbarring some stuff in. So I know uh, Bex left you with some, some stuff to do uh, to try and crowbar in uh, from the lunchtime uh, snack. Hopefully you've been crowbarring that in. So let us know what crowbarring you've been doing as well. Hi, Lynn. Um, uh, Lynn Towley and hi, Chris Perry. Is that right? 
Um, like in the phone, George. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, swaying with a knife and an onion, Bex. I'm seriously concerned now. I'm seriously concerned. Uh, I, Christine, you're asking if Bex is safe chopping. Um, I think we need to check out 8am tomorrow and ask her to hold all her fingers up so we can make sure they're all still there. Um, and uh, she's still got all 10 of them. That would be good, wouldn't it? Right. Hi, Sue. Welcome to you, Sue, joining us, Sue MC. How's things going? Everybody feeling all right? Everybody had a good day? Thank you, Lynn. Uh, Lynn saying welcome. It's, it's nice to be here. <laughs> nice and warm in mid Wales, Helen. Thank you. It's always lovely to have these updates of what's happening around the, the country and around the world. It's, uh, it's good to know what the weather's like and how people are getting on. Hopefully you've all been staying um, busy. Hopefully you've been crowbarring those extra minutes in. It's really important that we try and crowbar in those extra activities during the day. And there's things that you can be doing while you're, you know, while you're doing activities around the house, everyday activities, we can try and crowbar in some of the moves that we're doing. So um, I know um, earlier Bex was doing some uh, standing with you to, to one of the tests as far as your balance is concerned. Um, Am I a Tigger fan? A fan of Tigger? Yes, I am a fan of Tigger. <laughs> Tigger's the best. Tigger's the Tigger's real. The rest of them are all make believe, but Tigger's Tigger's the best. Um, um, okay. Hi, I'm going. Apologies if I say this wrong. Um, hi, Apostolis. Nice to see you. And coming in from Greece, I'm hoping to be able to go to Greece later in the year. Uh, we just need to see how things go, really, don't we? Um, hi, Vivienne, joining us as well. Um, hi, saying hi to all of our snackers as well. Um, okay, Dave, we are the day Elliot uh, Chapel Collective from Wisbeach. Uh, that's Norfolk, yeah? Uh, Sandy and Uxmoor. Uh, let's just go back and see what that says. Pronounced Exmoor, sorry, uh, respectively. Looking forward to our afternoon snack. I'm looking forward to, to bringing you a snack as well. Uh, Joy, hi to you uh, in Ireland. Uh, Margaret, hello. You're in Chesterfield. Um, good to see you. Mandy, uh, Maddie, sorry. Uh, good afternoon. Welcome to you, Alison uh, from Todwick. And Richie. Hi, Richie. is watching us as well. Garden's coming on well, mate. Looking really good from the stuff I've been seeing on Facebook. Um, good to see you're all staying uh, busy. Hi, Andy from Gosport. Welcome. We're getting around to uh, a time to be able to start now. Carol Kent. Hi. How are you? Uh, be gentle with you. I'll do my best. I'll be gentle if I can. Um, as I say, a lot of comments about the Mickey Mouse behind us. Um, he is where I'm on my landing upstairs because we've got my son working from home uh, who's downstairs. My wife's busy in the kitchen baking. So I've come up here for a bit of peace and quiet. Um, I understand if I come to Athens, you're going to be a great guide for me, which is wonderful. <laughs> how are we doing we're all right okay so we're coming up to, to four o'clock so we'll get ourselves going in a few a few moments we'll give ourselves a couple of more seconds and then we'll go hi Midge uh, you're coming in from Inverness nice to meet you nice to see you um okay Debbie is saying uh she's snacking and crowbarring excellent <laughs> LLT Movement Radio, wonderful. Good to know that these are, are being useful for you and everybody is finding it um, a, a great thing to participate in. Okay, let's go, shall we? So, three, two, one. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Dave Montgomery from Later Life Training. It's Thursday, the 7th of May, four o'clock. It's your third snack of the day. Um, it's your third movement of the day. And... Um, that will give you in total 30 minutes of additional movement on your day, whether that's in a standing position or in an active seated position. We're gonna do um, some sway and three dimensional moving today. So some calming swaying and moving motion. We're gonna do some stretches. Before we do any of that, we need to, need to just do a bit of a circulation booster. Now you can do it in seated or you can do it in standing position. Choice is yours. I'll give you the options, all right? So in our standing position, we're gonna bring our feet. So our heels are in line with our knees and our knees are in line with our heels. What I want you to do is lift your shoulders up, back and down and lift from your hips. So stand nice and tall from your hips. 
our head. We're just going to let the chin come back slightly so we've got a nice straight line down through our head. We have our support options around us. So here I have a wall. I've got an external support here. I've got the banister. I also have a chair. So we can do it seated or I can use the chair for a support option as well. All right. Uh, if you are in the seat, then what I'm going to ask you to do firstly is bottom walk into the front third of the seat for me. So you're sitting in the front third of the seat. Knees are in line with our hips and our heels are in line with our knees. We're going to focus on our position and the position is exactly the same whether we're standing or seating as far as our posture is concerned. So we're sitting tall and we're lifting from our hips. With our feet, we're going to start with a little march. And I want you to think about your ankle, feet and toes for me, OK? So we're coming down onto the ball of the foot and we're rolling through to our heels, staying nice and steady. We've got our support options there if we need them. And we can use whatever we need as far as that external support is. One hand, two hands if you feel that you need it. The choice is there for you. If you want a less, less challenging option, then you can be sat down. And again, we've just got our march going there. So we're coming down onto the ball of the foot, rolling through to the heel. If you start to feel a little bit of tiredness there, we're only going to do a minute, you can do a little heel dig in front if you want, just so we've got some movement. All we really want to do is make sure that we get the muscles nice and warm and we just raise that um, uh, oxygen level a little bit, make ourselves breathe a little bit harder. So after our minute, we should just need feel we need to take a big deep breath. We shouldn't feel worn out, we shouldn't feel particularly hot or anything like that either, okay? So let's just do a little bit more of that. And if you wanted to add a little bit of an arm movement in, you can. If you're going for an arm movement for me, I want you to really focus on driving that arm backwards, okay? So we're keeping a nice 90 degree angle at the elbow, and we're driving backwards rather than a big swing forwards, yeah? So nice drive and focus on pushing back into the arm for me, okay? Wonderful job. All right, from there, let's start with our three-dimensional movement, all right? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do um, a move which is about um, moving lily pads, all right? So we can do it seated, we can do it standing, as I say. I'll show you in the standing option first, and then I'll give you the, uh, the option in a seated position as well. What I want you to do is stand with your feet slightly diagonal. So one foot is slightly in front of the other. So we've got a bit of a diagonal motion, all right? In your chair, you're gonna have your buttocks onto that chair for me. I want you to keep the buttocks engaged, sit tall and lift from that hips for me, okay? In your chair, then what I want you to do is be steady and stable, all right? If you need to hold on, then feel free to hold on. If you're standing, then you're gonna be fixed, you've got a fixed stable support around you. So I say we've got the wall, we've got the uh, banister here that I can utilize, okay? In your seated position, separate your legs again so you've got one foot in front of the other. We're going to start with our hands and what I want you to do for me is just one hand at a time we're just going to take it around in a circle yeah so we're just taking that hand around in a circle if I come a little bit closer in for you it's that motion there yeah we're keeping our hips nice and straight still I'm just moving around with that hand. Now when you feel ready for it we're going to add a second hand in as well so we can take the hand across and we're going to bring it back over this side. So we're going across the body and bringing it back in to this side. It's a slow, controlled move. Taking nice, deep, regular breaths. We don't want to be working hard at this point. It's about staying calm. It's about calming our body down. These extra 10 minutes at the end of the day just give that calm, nice, gentle sway, nice and relaxing for us. Brilliant job. Okay. Let's lose the arms and let's have a look at the feet. So all I'm going to do is just shift the weight forward and then shift the weight back. OK, so I'm not coming too far forward. I'm not coming too far to the side. I'm just shifting forward and I'm shifting back. Now, if we're in our seated position, we can still do this. We've got our feet there. We're going to lean forward slightly and we're going to come back. But we're going to make sure we stay in that tall position still. So as we come back, we're not extending back, yeah? We're just going to our tall sitting position. Just coming forward and back. All right, lovely job. So taking it forward and bringing it back. Okay, what we're gonna do is try and add the two things together, okay? So when you feel comfortable, remember you can stop at any time. When you feel comfortable, let's try the hands. So as we come forward, we take the hands across, and we bring them back in towards us. So we move them across and we come back in towards us. Now, it's a bit like um, lily pads floating on a pond, all right? 
So the top part here is lovely and smooth. There's no real movement up and down, it's just across. And below, we've got our roots that are finding their way down to the firm base. And down there, we're standing strong, we're standing tall. They're giving us our balance, okay? Now, if you feel at all that you need to hold on, you can, and you can just do one hand at a time, and you can change every now and again, yeah? Same in your seated position. We're sat down here, so if we want to go for the seated option, we're shifting forwards and we're shifting back. Just coming into that tall sitting position, that's all we're doing, okay? We're not pushing ourselves back any further. Brilliant, okay? Remember your supported options if you need them. Remember this is a nice three-dimensional move, so rather than just going from side to side, let's bring that forward motion in and coming backwards, yeah? So we're not just going from side to side. Now this prepares us for, for moves that we're gonna do in everyday life. So if we need to make a, a directional change, for instance, and I know that uh, you were doing some three-dimensional stepping with, uh, with Bex earlier on, this is the first part of that step into it, coming out, yeah? So we're having to step forward into it. So we're getting used to that motion that we're using. Brilliant job. Okay, just give me a couple more of those. Hope you're finding it all right. Um, that'll be good. Lovely job. Okay, all right, from there, let's take a breather and we're gonna do a stretch to finish off, all right? Now, the three stretches we're gonna do, you'll find in the calendar here, okay? So it's these stretches here that we're going to do. We're gonna do a stretch of our chest, we're gonna do a stretch of our calf, and we're gonna do the stretch of our uh, back of our thigh as well, okay? We'll have seated uh, an option for you, and we'll have a standing option as well, all right? So, first things first, let's go for our uh, chest stretch. And what we're gonna do for our chest stretch is just take the hands into the small of the back and just ease the shoulders back so you open across the chest. If we're in our chair, we're sitting in the front third, as always. Take the hands to the back of the chair, and just gently open up the chest. Now the stretch comes when you open the chest, so it's not here that you get the stretch, that's the start of it. Then you need to open the chest up by bringing the shoulders back a little bit and bringing the shoulder blades together. Just hold that there, and we should have a nice stretch across the chest, yeah? So those motions where we were coming here across, this is where we're working into that part of our body. Lovely job, okay? From there, have a little shake out of those arms. We're gonna come down to our leg stretch. So, first things first, our um, back of the thigh stretch, all right? So what we're going to do is take one foot forward, heel down onto the floor, toes pointing upwards. We put our hands onto the, to the bent knee, make sure we're sitting nice and tall, and again, we're in the front third of that chair. Our back is nice and aligned. And all we do is just tip from our hip. So we're not bending forwards, we're just tipping from our hip. If I show you sideways on look, the action, sitting tall, is this, yeah? Now, when you're tipping forward like that, you should feel a nice stretch into the back of the thigh. Make sure your buttocks stay anchored to that chair, okay? So you're not leaning too far forward into it. And then when you've done that, change your other leg, all right? Standing option, if anybody wants to give a standing option a go, then what you're doing is stepping forward, putting the foot flat on the floor. So heel down, toe down. Lifting tall from your hips again, and all you're gonna do is tip back. So tip your back, bum back as you hinge from your hip. To support yourself if you need to, you've got your fixed options. So you've got your fixed option here. As you tip that bum back, you should feel the stretch here. And the important part about it is you lift from your hips first. So you lengthen that muscle once you're in that position and then tipping forward, you haven't got to go too far to feel a nice gentle stretch there. Okay, brilliant job. All right, from there, we're going to stretch our calf. Standing option, all right? You can come behind your chair. I'll put my chair over here this time so you can see. So behind my chair, I'm going to step back, ball of the foot down, roll through to my heel, and all I'm going to do is bend my knee at the front and let myself lean forward into it. I've got a nice straight line, I've got a stretch into my calf. Now, in a seated position, what you're gonna do for me, is take the foot out like you did with your uh, back of the thigh stretch. So sit nice and tall still. You can rest your hands on there if you want to, or you can rest them onto the side of the chair. 
we're in the third third of the chair still and what you can do is just ease those toes in towards your shin so your toes start like this your leg is here and you're just easing the toes in and what you'll do is feel that stretch down into your calf okay change legs for me so other one stepping back ball of the foot down through to the heel or toes up towards the ceiling and toes in towards your shin to get that stretch there excellent job wonderful nice lovely stretch there okay so there we go an extra 10 minutes of movement added to your day keep going with those extra minutes of movement everything counts yeah and from a crowbarring point of view um what we can do is crowbar those activities into our everyday life so um uh bex is chopping onions at the moment um with that chopping onions there's no reason why you can't stand in a bit of a three three-dimensional position and lean into it as you chop the onion um, I'm going to be making some bread a little bit later on. Um, so um, again, when I'm mixing or kneading, I can lean into it and come back. So I've got that three dimensional motion within there. OK, um, as uh, someone mentioned earlier, on, an interesting thing I saw earlier on was someone talked about the fact that they were um, actually um, baking. Uh, some bread and was it good for the wrists and yes the kneading action depending on what height you are um if there's a kneading action you put some loading into the, to the wrists as well so all really good stuff keep crowbarring those things into the uh the day as far as you can and uh keep active everybody okay it was absolutely lovely to uh, talk to you all i hope you that was uh, uh enjoyable for you and keep going with those extra 10 minutes of time take care and bex will be back with you in the morning